What is up you guys? Hope y'all are having a great day. Today we're gonna be putting Christmas lights on the Jeep and getting Rocky all decorated for the holidays. It's a first time thing for me. I have never done this before, so it's gonna be a new experience, but I think it's gonna be really cool and really fun. But if you guys saw the last video, you know that we went on some crazy off-roading adventures and we got the Jeeps pretty dirty. So we got all cleaner first. I'm gonna wash her up right now get that over with and then we're gonna get straight to decorating looking pretty dirty rocky Oof. let's get you cleaned up ah, much better all right now that the car is clean let's get some lights on it in our arsenal today we have bright white lights 100 of them total of 600 multicolored lights that's gonna be the body of it Got a candy cane set that's gonna go on this garland and snowman for the finishing touch. You'll see where everything's gonna go right now. Okay guys, so oh. we put this garland all around the spare tire. Use three 50 foot packs. And it looks pretty good. Looks like a Christmas wreath. Okay, now we're gonna throw these white lights on top of the wreath. I think that's good right there. All right, let's put this guy on. He's gonna go right in the middle of the wreath, right? Nice, that's good. All right, time to put on the rest of the lights. Right, Frosty, you know where you're going. Around the hood. Yeah, that was easy. Just tie up him right around the neck here. Perfect. All right, next is the hardest part, the lights. I got a plan. I'm thinking about running the extension cord right here. Running the first one all the way around the front and around the back to right here. Second string will split off of there. Go up uh, over the hood and then over the top of the back and then back to here. That's the plan at least. We'll see how it comes out. You guys ready to see what it looks like? I'll show you in three, two, I think this came out really well, better than I thought it was going to, honestly. I love the way everything just like symmetrically actually fit pretty well together. I love the way that everything worked out. Let me just show you right now how I wired it up how I ran everything, how I got everything to stay where it is, and how functional the Jeep actually is with all these lights on. So honestly, getting this set up was not very hard. The wreath itself took me maybe a couple hours. I had to run back to the store to get more garland. And the lighting itself took me maybe another hour. So honestly, it was only three, four hours at most to get this whole thing set up. And of course, being in quarantine, we all got extra time on our hands, so this is what I do with my extra time. Uh, let's start with the front here. We got Frosty tie wrapped around the front here. And honestly, what saved me with this setup was tie wraps. Anywhere I couldn't secure it, I used tie wraps. So Frosty's tie wrapped right around the here, around the grill. For the lights running around, anywhere I couldn't fasten. So like in the hood latches, I got fastened right here. But anywhere in between, tie wraps all the way around. Around the front here in this little hook, we got a couple tie wraps. Around the light bar, we got tie wraps so it doesn't hang down too far. Around here, we got tie wraps, tie wraps, so you get the picture. Running it down here, tie wrapped it to the rock sliders. This is the trickiest part because there is nowhere to tie it from here to the very back without it hanging in front of the tire or something sketchy like that. So I had to make a little sacrifice. I had to run it through the rear passenger door. So now, as you see, the rear door doesn't quite open anymore. But it's a small sacrifice to pay. I really don't have anyone going in the back and it's only for maybe a month at the most. So that's one sacrifice we had to make for the lights was running through the back door, but maybe one day that'll, we'll have some modification that'll make it easier to wrap it around. Tie wrapped it to the license plate frame, up through here, up and around duplicates on the other side and that's the first strand the second strand we went 
across the grill, came around, went up the light bar, and then brought it on the top. And this side is, these also are not tie wrapped. From here, all the way to the back at the top of the glass. So I ran it through the rain gutter, and for the most part, it stays pretty well. I mean, if it's really windy, it might, you know, not stay. It might hang a little in front of your door. You just gotta keep an eye on it, so you don't smash a bulb or something. But really, it hasn't gotten in the way when opening and closing the doors. And it lights up the top, which I like. I think that's an extra little touch. And so, um, we're gonna go into how we wired this on the inside. So over here is where the extension cord comes out. I got all my plugs right here. The two sets of wires go right there. Everything's tied up to the rock rails there. Going in the cab, run one whole extension cord out for that whole thing. Really not a mess. I have people in the passenger seat all the time and there's not a problem at all. This one cord runs right on the floorboard. It does come back here and plug into another extension cord which runs to the back for the wreath, which you'll see later. And then it runs up here plugs into the inverter and with the push of one button everything turns on so that's really nice the other extension cord that ran back is going to the wreath and speaking of the wreath here she is I used about 150 feet of garland I got it for like maybe 20 bucks from Walmart and it was really not that hard to install I just wrapped it all the way around and there's definitely easier ways to do it but I wanted it to really completely cover the tire and I think it did a pretty good job of that. So I'm happy with the way it came out. The candy cane was an extra thing. I just wanted a little ornament in the middle. Tie wrapped it right around. And yeah, the wreath has held up really well. And we'll show you where this is wired up here. One cord right there. Plugs in the extension cord. Goes up to the front, plugs right in. And it shuts right on this weather seal. So there's no issues with the cords getting shorted or anything like that. And yeah, it came out really good, guys. I'm really happy with the way this looks. A um, couple areas that I had to like work around were tie wrapping right here around the bumper because on this side there's no license plate, so that was a little extra work there. Also, I can't open the glass because of this cord that goes in front. But honestly, you can still open the tailgate, so I don't see that as being a huge problem unless you're loading something big in there. Also, I have been driving this around for about two weeks now like this, maybe close to three weeks and it draws a lot of attention and it's not like a like crazy bright or like blinding other people or distracting it's just enough to really turn heads which is pretty cool for you know putting a smile on people's faces that's really what why i enjoy doing this is seeing everyone smile when they look at it having the lights on the jeep hold up really well I've been driving them everywhere, except for the freeway, really. I, I probably could get on the freeway, but I just want to avoid it just to be safe. Nothing has moved. Nothing is risking flying around. I mean, every once in a while, this strand right here will loosen, but it only hangs to about here. Doesn't get anywhere close to the tire. So everything holds up really well, honestly. I'm really surprised with that, because this is my first attempt. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Should I do something different next time? Should I try something different next year? Just let me know what you think. I love to hear the responses. All right, guys, that about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you love the video, please leave it a like. It really makes a difference for me. And leave comments, feedback. I always appreciate that. Um, we are planning a small trip in January. I won't tell you where yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get a sneak peek at where we're going. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys around.